Hey, Tom here from the Run Testers. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the latest shoe from On, the Cloud Boom. Let's see how good it is. First, the stats. The Cloud Boom is going to cost you £170. It comes in at 225 grams and there's a 9mm drop. On state that the shoe is designed for marathons. It's a speed shoe, it's meant for running fast. Um, and the most noticeable feature of it is this visible carbon infused plate that runs across the whole shoe. Other features include uh, a special grip on the outsole for, for wet conditions or tricky surfaces. There's a quite a pronounced rocker design within the actual shape of the shoe. And there's also quite a lightweight, thin upper design um, across the whole shoe, uh, as well as kind of a, a reinforced section that sits above the, the laced area here. So when it came to fit, I found these came up true to size in a UK eight and a half, which is my size. I actually, initially when I put them on, I did fear they were gonna be a little bit tight across this area here, a bit like the ASICS Meta Racer actually, but actually after a few miles that loosened off and I felt they sort of stuck, they were comfortable after that. The breathable engineered mesh uppers were brilliantly kind of comfortable and well fitted pretty much standard stuff that we've come to expect from on. One really interesting point I thought about fit on the um, Cloud Boom was this section here, which has got, you know, it's got a layer and it's sort of reinforced up the top here. And that sort of almost acted like a clamp, sort of holding your foot down in place, almost like you've got two different shoes where you've got sort of flexible engineered mesh upper. And then this thing really sort of locking down on the top of the foot, keeping your foot in place in the shoe. And that really worked well on the run. So for me, the Cloud Boom fit true to size. Uh, I wear a UK9, this is a UK9. Uh, it's a pretty narrow shoe, but not too bad. It's not as narrow as the Asics Meta Metaracer uh, for me. And I found that it was a little bit tight in the toe box, but not too bad. There's enough room there to get kind of, you know, both a comfortable, but still a tight racing fit. So yeah, I would say go true to size in the on Cloud Boom. So in terms of fit for me now, I had an eight and a half, um, normally running an eight, can get away with an eight and a half flight. I did with the Meta Racer. Now, I don't think I actually would have got away with an eight in this, mainly because um, I mean, from a from the kind of front up front here in the toe box, it was absolutely fine. I felt there was enough space. Um, it's more on the sides of my toes where I felt a little bit more discomfort, and it didn't feel great for me. You know, it's just quite a narrow um, shoe, which is fine because I had a, a narrow foot, but I did definitely feel. A little bit of discomfort on, on a, a fair few of my runs up on the side, you know, sides of my feet and predominantly on my toes. Um, it's a light shoe. Um, I'm not massively convinced by this upper, this kind of area, the kind of lace slit combo and the kind of very thin tongue, which I know keeps the weight down. But I would have liked something that was a bit more kind of kind of locked my my foot in a bit more, and I I didn't feel like this kind of football boot as I kind of described to Kieran style kind of look and design kind of worked for me um i say a light shoe um but you know i definitely did have some issues in terms of the fit and yeah i don't think i would have got away wearing uh or run, running or racing in, a, in an eight uh in this in terms of fit i've had no problems at all with it i actually i actually found it really comfortable straight from the off uh, i don't have particularly wide feet um but i didn't have any problems with the narrowness that that some other uh, members of the team might have mentioned. Um, 
But if you did have wide feet, it, it is a slightly narrow shoe, so you might notice that around this area here. Um, but for me, it was absolutely fine. Uh, I found it quite a comfortable shoe to run in, in terms of the fit, um, and so no issues at all. I did find that the uh, tongue section here was actually, it's quite, a really, it's quite a thin tongue, and I did find it was quite hard to, to tie up comfortably. The, kind of, the, the, the edges um, of the tongue kind of bunched up or, or moved around a bit, so it did take a bit of time to get the fit locked down. But once my foot was in there and, and, the, and the, the laces were tightened up, it felt fine. So for me, this really is a first run video. I got the shoe a little bit later than the rest of the guys uh, and I've only done one run in them, which was today's kind of fairly easy five miles with uh, kind of eight strides at the end. Um, not so obviously haven't got a huge amount of depth here, but it's notable that it is a firm shoe, um, but it is a pretty fast feeling shoe on the foot. Um, I don't think it was overly firm for me today. Um, obviously I only logged about 10K in total, so I can't say too much on that front, but yeah. Feels reasonably snappy, fast, picked up nicely on the strides at the end, um, and felt probably quite cushioned uh, during the rest of the run. No, no on shoe for me has ever been that cushioned, but this was um, this was comparable to most of them, just with that kind of extra kick from the speedboard, which is now being carbon infused. Okay, so the run set. So so far, I've done just over 50k in these. I've done stuff on the road. I've done treadmill running with them. Um, I've done some kind of just go out and do you know, a 5k run, try to do a quick 5k run. Um, I've done some interval stuff and I've also done one slower or try to do a, you know, a longer run with them as well. I'd say, you know, I've got mixed feelings about kind of my run experience so far. I'd say, you know, the issues I had with the fit, you know, didn't really go away during my runs. I think the shorter stuff, it was a, it was a nice shoe to wear. Um, you got that sense uh you know of what that tech you know in the shoe and the midsole is trying to deliver for you um I thought when i got i kind of dug deeper into those miles that, that kind of rocking sensation felt a little bit more inconsistent for me um and sometimes you get that kind of feel of the cushioning kind of pushing towards the rest you know through the rest of the shoe um and other times it, i didn't feel like i got that and it wasn't really you know i was running quite consistent consistently um to try and you know maintain that kind of feeling of what the shoe is meant to deliver i don't know if i really felt that also you know i found it quite taxing on my legs in general like my calves and top halves on my legs um felt quite achy which you know I, it's not something i've really experienced in many shoes i run in recently um and yeah i think i just put it down to the fact that i'm not sure how well equipped these are for me personally uh for the longer stuff I think the shorter stuff it was, was fine i could feel that speed from them um but yeah definitely some inconsistency in terms of what i was hoping to feel when i started to go longer and, and those miles uh and yeah that's kind of my take so far i say mixed feelings about it so far interested to see how that kind of develops more miles and the more sessions i can put in with them so when it comes to the run i put in around 35 miles in, in these on cloud booms most of those, I have to say, were shorter mileage. So looking up to kind of 10Ks, 5Ks, that kind of thing. Um, one of the reasons I did that was primarily because that's really how I felt the shoe worked best. I didn't really dare go over that. And here's why. I think that these shoes, despite the fact that on will say that they're, they're actually designed to be raced over a marathon distance. I'm not sure that's the case from my kind of first run impressions. Now, one thing I will say is that on the run testers, we, we like to put these shoes through as many miles as we can before we bring you our reviews. We don't really like to hurry them out. So this is why this is very much our first run impressions. And I'm going to reserve my full judgment on these until I've actually gone that distance in them. But in my initial runs, I didn't really feel like there was enough protection going on from these shoes to make me want to actually go out and do a half or a full marathon in them. And one example I wanted to give you is a sort of close comparison that I found was this. Now this is the On Cloud Flash. It's the next nearest shoe to these in the On range. There's, there's far less of the On Cloud tech underneath than you'll get from the Cloud Boom. There is a plate in there, but it's not the carbon infused plate that you'll get in the new Cloud Boom. Now I once ran a marathon in these and about 18 miles in, the impact coming through the foot 
really did for me and I wanted to take them off and change them. I wasn't really a good enough, my form wasn't good enough, I wasn't a good enough runner to, to, to get away with running these over a marathon. And actually in my shorter runs, I got that similar sensation from these, particularly through this, this area of the shoe where I was mainly striking. I felt like the impact was coming up through and I didn't quite get hot spots, but sort of underneath on the balls of my feet, I felt a sort of discomfort that wasn't particularly pleasant. And it makes me worried that actually putting these through a marathon distance might be troublesome. Now, I guess the other big thing really that everyone's gonna to wanna to know about is this carbon infused plate that you can see running through the middle of these shoes. How much propulsion are you getting? How do they compare to other shoes that have got these carbon plates? Now, they, they come up as a firm run, these shoes, definitely, but you do feel a lot of zip. They are sort of, I think, somewhat akin to the Asics Meta Racer, maybe a little bit more poppy than the Meta Racers for me. Um, you do certainly feel that plate for sure. And it's a, it's quite a nice feeling. And this is where I get a bit divided because that was quite a nice feeling on my, on my shorter runs, getting the, the propulsion. And I think if I were doing sort of short interval work, these would be a shoe that I might pick up, just as I said for the Meta Racer. So quite a few of my runs in the on cloud boom were actually on wet pavements. London had a little bit of summer rain. And actually the grip here, I found it was good enough. Actually got me around when I was sort of flying around some sharp corners. I don't think it would be really, really that great when you hit kind of wet drain covers and stuff. I did sort of feel a little bit uneasy on those. There was a bit of slippage. Uh, but overall, I think sort of grippy enough and, you know, if you're taking them onto the track and something like that, they'd be, they'd be perfect. When it comes to the run, um, it's an interesting shoe, actually. The carbon plate in it is noticeable when you're running at fast pace. So what I, I, I ran probably around 35k in it so far. The longest run I've done is 13k. Uh, and the first 3k of that, I ran pretty fast and I actually, I found it quite a nice shoe to run at that speed at. It felt quite um, bouncy. It felt like there was a bit of injury turn, a bit of snap in the run. Um, after that 3K, when I actually um, kind of slowed down, I, the, the difference in the feel of the shoe is really noticeable. And it, it, just, it just doesn't work very well at slower speeds. There's no real benefit to wearing the shoe when you're kind of doing a training run or you're, you're, just, you're just going at a, you know, a standard pace. Although there's quite a bit of snap in that carbon infused plate, it's quite hard shoes. So it's a bit more than what I'm normally used to. If I was to run a marathon in these shoes, I'd probably find them way too hard, um, which is something that I've seen with previous on shoes. And I, I think Nick mentions this as well. Um, but at short distances, when I, when I did um, a few kilometers at pace, it, it did work really well. And um, I, did, I did feel like it was helping me kind of propel forward with a little bit of a, of um, responsiveness. Okay, so initial thoughts on the On Cloud Boom. Um, now, I didn't instantly fall in love with this shoe. Um, there are some things I, you know, really liked about it. You know, it's a very light shoe to run in. Um, on the shorter stuff, you know, I did feel that kind of um, speed. As I dug deeper into those miles, it's not something I felt was replicated for me anyway. Um, so definitely looking forward to kind of spending a bit more time towards that kind of half marathon distance to see where these kind of shoes fare from that perspective. As I don't know if they all really suit going longer than that um, based on my experience. So yeah, mixed, mixed feelings about the uh, Cloud Boom so far. Um, haven't loved them, um, but, you know, intrigued to kind of spend a bit more time getting to know them. So my overall first impressions of the On Cloud Boom is that you've got a bit of a mixed shoe here. I, I, after a few runs, they settled down on my foot and I started to really enjoy them on shorter runs, that I really wanted to go faster. I did, however, come back from some of those early runs and I was aware of my calves, I'd felt them, and it felt a little bit like there wasn't as much protection going up through the sort of lower leg as I would have liked. And I did feel them slightly underfoot to the point where, you know, it's going to be okay. That, that feeling is going to be okay on a shorter 5k run, but I just wasn't sure that I would want to push these up to the marathon. And I think if that's something that on our saying these are for, I, I would perhaps quibble with that. Although I, as I said earlier, I will have to go and put that to the proper test. So my initial thoughts on the on cloud beam are very, obviously very initial, having only done one run, but it does kind of seem to fit the bill as it's billed as a kind of fast, firm shoe, that carbon plate in it, kind of all on shoes are fairly firm in my opinion. So adding the plate only adds to that. Um, 
it'll be interesting to see how it does in some speed sessions. I think it's going to be a fast shoe. Uh, and where, how it holds up over kind of long runs, 20K and plus, and whether it is too kind of firm to be comfortable for the vast majority of runners when you're racing those kind of longer distance events. In terms of where it sits and kind of the shoes I've tried in terms of carbon plates, it's more towards the racing flat with the plate in it end, the kind of Brooks Hyperion Elite 1. Um, it's, it's not even as cushioned as the Essex Meta Racer for me. Um, so it will be interesting to see how it feels in those long runs. Obviously, haven't tried it yet. It might turn out to be very comfortable. But um, at the moment, yeah, it certainly leans towards the firm end of the spectrum. So if you like that kind of feel in the shoe, it might be more to your taste than the kind of big, soft shoes like the Vaporfly. My initial impressions of the shoe, it's probably going to be a nice shoe for short distances. I'd definitely love to do a 5K race or maybe even a 10K race in these. At the moment, I just don't think I'd wear it for a half marathon, definitely not a marathon. Um, I like a bit more cushioning in my shoes. I'm not a minimalist um, kind of or racing flat type of runner. So if you are, it might work. Um, but for the more general runner who, you know, doesn't like a lot of impact, um, kind of hard feel to um, when they're running faster, longer races, uh, I, I just think it's going to be it's it's, it's going to be too hard. Um, so yeah, I, that's my initial thoughts. Um, I, I'm looking forward to trying it out a few more times, but I definitely don't think at the moment I'd go further than ten mile, ten uh, k, ten miles even in this. So that's it. That's our first look at On's new Cloud Boom running shoe. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the little bell icon. And uh, make sure you check out the rest of the videos we've got on the YouTube channel that cover all sorts of different shoes as well as tech and um, various other things that you might be interested in when it comes to running. Catch you later.